Yes, I thought today we would make a caterpillar in its cocoon and so that when it comes out, it turns into a beautiful butterfly. So what you're gonna need is a paper towel roll, some tissue paper that moms might have around from uh, wrapping gifts, popsicle sticks. I have them because I've had them from the daycare. You could also use a clothespin. Um, some pom-poms or crumpled up pieces of paper, um, a pair of scissors and a marker and some glue. So what the, we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut down our paper towel roll because we don't need it quite that big. Now moms may wanna help with this or if you have a toilet paper roll, you can use that too. Miss Wendy had this one, so I'm gonna use the paper towel roll. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this down. So I have this for later. And now I'm going to take my popsicle stick. And I'm just going to glue on some pom-poms so that we can have the uh, beginning of a caterpillar. So I'm just going to squeeze on some glue, put our pom-poms on. And we can count them as we go. I have three so far. Four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Eight. And depending on the size of your popsicle stick, um, it'll depend on how many you put on there. So now Miss Wendy's going to take her marker and I'm going to draw some eyes for my butterfly. For right now it's a caterpillar. So I'm just going to give it some eyes. If you have googly eyes at home, you can use those. But I'm drawing eyes. Then we're going to set that aside for a minute. <clears throat> we're going to take our tissue paper. We're just going to fold it. See, I have a big piece, so I'm just going to fold it in half and maybe fold it again. I'm going to take some scissors and I'm just going to try, a, try and cut a cute little design on the side. Just get a little cut. You can also use a coffee filter for this. I don't have one, so I'm using tissue paper. So a couple different um, options that you can have. And I'm just wiggling my, my scissors back and forth so that when I open it up, it has a cute little design on it. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to just basically crumple this up. Like that. <clears throat> We're going to put some glue on it. And then we're going to set our caterpillar on top of it. Like that. Just spread it out. And we're going to let it dry. And once it's dry, we're going to fold the tissue paper over it and we're going to stick it in our tube and have just the head stick out so that when you pull it out it becomes a beautiful butterfly but I'll show you that in a little while. Now we're going to see if we can get our creation of the caterpillar or butterfly into our tube. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it over nice and gentle. We're going to stick it into our tube, which could become its chrysalis. Nice and easy. And then we can let its head pop out just a little bit. And then when we take it out, the butterfly now becomes, the caterpillar now becomes a butterfly. See? 
So this is its chrysalis or its um, home for when it's a caterpillar and then it turns into a butterfly. So I hope you make one. It's real easy and it's real fun. Enjoy.